Hey Aquarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for November 15th to the 16th of 2021. Alright, let's get into it with an oracle card message for Aquarius. November 15th to the 16th of 2021 for Aquarius. Alright, let's see what's going on. We have Master Number 44, Storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. We have 17, Flower. Be honest with yourself. And 6, Dragon. Slay them all. Overall energy is 3, Tower. Unplug and relax for a spell. Um, I think either Taurus or Capricorn had these almost exact same cards. So you may want to check out Taurus or Capricorn if this reading ends up resonating. But I feel like with um, with Storm, every hurricane comes to an end, unplug and relax for a spell. I feel like you're in the midst of something, but it, like it's about to come to an end abruptly or faster than you think. So I think you should just step away from it instead of engaging it or trying to end it. Because I feel like you feel the need to take action, but you're actually you're meant to like pull away and leave it alone. Because I feel like if you feel like if you pull away, it it'll like overtake you. But the best thing for you to do is pull away from the situation so it'll come to an abrupt end. Because with be honest with yourself, you feel like you want to fight this. And of course, you have the capability to fight this and win this. But it'll come to an end a lot faster. And it'll fall apart a lot faster if you just let it go. So let's get into the tarot and see for Aquarius. November 15th to the 16th for Aquarius. Next 48 hours for Aquarius, November 15th to the 16th of 2021. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's. I feel like you're in the midst of it. Like with Storm, I feel like you're in the, with the dark clouds and it's raining, it's storming. You're in the midst of the storm or the eye of the storm. So it's like happening around you right now. Then we have the night. So you may have a problem with sleeping at night. You may wake up in cold sweats or whatever. You wake up sweaty from like dreams or you just can't sleep at night. Something like that. Five of Pentacles. You may feel alone or you could be dealing with someone that's like this. But I feel like you're having trouble sleeping at night. Some type of insomnia or you're having nightmares or just restless nights. Either you're really hot at night or you have cold sweats. It's just you're, you just can't stay asleep. You wake up sweaty at night. And you may feel drained or alone in the five of pentacles like you don't have enough resources or it's just you. You feel limited in some way, shape, or form. Then we have the sun card, Leo. But when the sun comes up, you have clarity. So you feel better during the day than you do at night. Or when the sun comes up, you see things more clearly. I feel like in the very next day, in the next, of course, 24 to 48 hours, you will have clarity. Because with storm, every hurricane comes to an end and the sun, the sun comes out. So you may feel like tonight, I feel like... Either tonight or the next 48 hours, there's one night will where it will be the worst for you. But right after that, it's like clarity. So if you go through a night in the next 48 hours where it's just sweaty and it's just um you can't sleep or you have night terrors or something like that, that'll be the last time you go through that with this cycle. Because when the sun comes up the next day, it'll be you'll see things much more clearly. It's like after a hurricane, the next day the sun comes out and everything's clear and beautiful and everything's calm now. And then we have the nine of wands. Yes, yeah, keep telling you to persevere. That's the card of perseverance, the wounded warrior card. So keep going. I feel like, again, you're in the eye of the storm. Things are about to come to an abrupt end. Overall energy is the two of wands. You're deciding what to do. If you should turn back and give up or if you should keep going spirit is telling you to keep going through this and it's the same um i don't know if i'm saying it right but it's like if you find yourself in the dark or something if you find yourself in hell keep going because why would you stop in hell or why would you stop in the dark right why would you stop in the midst of something extremely uncomfortable so keep going go towards the light or go so you can get out of that place because i feel like you're thinking about giving up or turning back but you should keep going. Nine of Wands is clearly telling you to keep going because there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And, and especially if you're doing this alone. Because I feel like you feel like you're alone and you're like grasping at straws or you're like, you have enough, but it's just like, you feel like you have to keep fighting to make sure you have enough constantly. If that makes, that's going to make sense to someone. Clarify this for Aquarius. Clarify this message for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Oh, that was a hot mess of a shuffle. Two more shuffles for Aquarius. Clarify this message for Aquarius. I feel like I should give you one more. So I'm going to give you one more for Aquarius. 
All right, so let's clarify and see. All right, clarifying the knight is the six of pentacles. <sighs> you may, for someone here, you have a shared dream with a sibling or a best friend or someone close to you. You wake up and you and this person, you text each other or call each other or you just exclaim that you have the same dream. You tell them about your dream or they tell you about their dream, then you tell your half of it. You have a similar or you a shared dream. So let me write that down so I don't forget. It's a rare phenomenon. I've had that with my siblings before. Um, You both have the same dream in one night or you both have a, yeah. And it's common, it's more common than you think with people who are very close to you. And it's also something called a shared psychosis. But I think you have a shared dream with someone. Yeah, the moon card, <laughs> Pisces. You you share a dream with someone. So comment down below if um, if someone told you a dream that they had and you end up like, oh my God, I had that exact same dream about you. One night you two go to sleep and you meet up in a dream. You have some type of shared dream or something like that. But if you if you feel like you want to ask this person, ask them about what their dream was about first so that you can get that confirmation from them. Clarifying the five of pentacles is the king of swords. There you are, Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with another air sign. I feel like um, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarius. But I feel like most of you or others of you, you're dealing with either an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or um, I have Leo here. I feel the need to say Pisces as well. It could be any sign though. We have the Queen of Wands. See, yeah, I felt like there was a fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or someone who's just taking on that energy or has those placements. So you are like... I you may feel like you're alone, but there's another sign who feels like the same exact way. You're both trying to get to each other in a dream. Here you are. So there's that person. There's the fire sign and there's you, Aquarius. See, there you are here and there they are there. You both meet up in a dream world or an astro plane or something like that. You both share a dream together, whether you're speaking or not, or you just have a shared dream with this person. And it could be someone from your past, someone you have children with, or someone from childhood or past life. Over energy is the Six of Cups. That is nostalgia, and it's also the Soulmate card. I'm getting past life for you, too. And you may feel alone, but this dream... I feel like you both feel alone. You both are longing for each other, and you both meet up at night in a dream. Clarifying the Sun card is the Wheel of Fortune, and it makes things very clear to you for your next path. And whether you know it or not... That night you have that dream with that person, that shared dream, or you dream about them. When the sun comes up the next day after this dream, that is a whole new cycle you're being put in with the Wheel of Fortune. You're in a whole new chapter, a whole new cycle. And it's up to you. We have the Queen of Cups, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So that could be an aspect. I feel like that's an aspect of you, but I feel like there's a Pisces, a Piscean or someone who's extremely intuitive and touched with their emotions or their psychic abilities. And it gives you clarity. I feel like that's someone within you or a mother figure or your feminine, something within you. It's a person within you. That's going to make sense to somebody. <laughs> Clarifying the Nine of Wands is the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you have to keep going. With the Nine of Wands, you have to keep going. When the sun comes up after this dream or after this hurricane or the storm or this rain or full moon or new moon, whatever... When the sun comes up, you're put in a new cycle and your psychic abilities and your intuition and emotions are like super clear. They're 100% open and they're telling you to keep, they're guiding you to keep going. And with the Ace of Pentacles, you have a new, st a new stable, abundant beginning on the other side. You just have to keep persevering. And then we have the Strength card, which is like triple confirmation for that. Also Leo energy. So you need to have the strength with Leo and you do have the strength. You just need to implement that to keep moving forward with the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior card, because you are going to get the Ace of Pentacles, a new stable beginning. So I'm telling you to move forward. The Wheel of Fortune is telling you you're on a new positive cycle. Just keep moving forward. Over on she's the Six of Cups. So it's basically a choice for you. Are you going to stay stuck and live in the past or are you going to keep moving forward? There's going to be something significant in this dream that you have with this person. Again, there's a shared dream or daydream. It is either you or a fire sign, or you Sagittarius, or you and an air sign. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, water sign. It could be any sign. But you dream about a specific person. This person could have orange hair or red hair or just be a fire sign. But it's someone you are extremely attracted to or they're extremely attracted to you. It could go either way. But it's someone from your past, childhood, past life. And it's about whether or not you're going to stay in the past and move forward. So 
put that how it goes for you. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to see my sister's crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Aquarius. Namaste.